Hey guys, what's up? It's Darren here again. And uh, this is a video response to Gunnut 357 Magnum. Uh, this is the stock that I did, the initial one. Uh, it's my first ever Mosin 91 M9130 stock refinishing. And as you can see, a lot of the green came out pretty well. I mean, I'm impressed at how being able to do it yourself is it's not it's not that hard. Um, however, as you can see in the stock on the on the butt stock, it's a little bit lighter and darker. I don't know if that's just the wood or maybe I did something wrong. Maybe you can help me out with that. Give me a couple pointers, couple tips on how you did yours. Basically, I I, I just did the very willy-nilly not even uh, what anybody would consider to be a proper way of doing it I mean I, I didn't use a, I didn't use a natural stripper or, or like a citrus citrus oil stripper I, I, I used oven cleaner which works just as well and uh, it was a big mess scraping off all the crappy goo that was on there and surprisingly uh, Mosin M9130s and Mosins in general are, are usually a little bit more expensive in uh, Canada. And uh, I guess the part of that being is that when we actually get them from our stores, is they are not covered in Cosmoline. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming, but although I don't know, but uh, my store probably takes them apart, cleans all the Cosmoline out, then charges a higher price for the gun itself just because it's been cleaned and you don't have to go through that. I, I paid uh, 199 plus tax, which uh, it's a 13% tax that we have. So it was about 226, 224, something like that uh, in total, which is very expensive. Yes, I mean, in uh, the States, you can get them for 99 bucks in some places, some places even cheaper. I mean, this is a 1942 model. It's really, really hard to see. There we go, 1942. And it is a Eshevik, I believe, with the triangle and the star, or it might be a And uh, Ismash, I'm really not sure. I have to take the don't take my word on that. You have to go and have to go and uh, take a look at the uh, emblems for the factory emblems. But that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm very very pleased at the way it looks. A lot of the grain came through very very nice. And like I said, I stripped her with oven cleaner and then I sanded her down. I washed her out, took about two days, let it dry. Then I sanded it out nice and smooth. About uh, two sandings just to get all the uh, any bumps and scrapes out of the stock. And then what I did was uh, took a linseed oil, the uh, boiled linseed oil, and I gave it about two or three coats. And this is how it turned out. Not bad, not bad at all. My very first one. So if you have any questions or comments or uh, you want to give me some tips on what I could have done better or you know what what you do specifically, going through your process of how you do it. Uh, just leave a comment. All right. Take care, guys. And as always, if you have to shoot, shoot often. But don't just shoot, shoot well. Take care.